Well, good evening everyone. This is Roman again and uh, uh, thanks for uh, watching my channel uh, and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to talk to you about another data recovery uh, job that I was, a uh, couple of jobs that I was doing recently and uh, one of those was uh, this particular hard drive right here. It's a um, Seagate ST 320005 as and that's a Barracuda LP 2 terabyte Seagate hard drive and I have recovered data from it already and um, I copied all the data onto this transfer drive for the customer so basically this particular drive uh, it had a service area issue and um, there were other issues with it but mostly with the service area and I just wanted to talk to you guys about um, service area corruptions on different brands of hard drives and uh, those types of problems are considered to be a mechanical issue also depending on a service area corruption um, it also depends what kind of service area corruption it is because there is like a bunch of different varieties of uh, service area issues with different types of modules which actually make up the drive structure so uh, basically, the way it works when the drive is uh, manufactured, uh, specific program is written to the sur surface, which is not basically being used by the user uh, while you actually put the data on the drive or install something on the drive, like an operating system or any other programs that you later on put on the uh, drive on any brand hard drive, any capacity. And the service series is kept in a, a kind of a backlog of the surface of platters which actually provides proper functionality for uh, all types of hard drives so whenever there is a corruption with the service area the drive starts lagging or it becomes really slow or it has smart errors where you boot up your computer or laptop and you see um, the on the screen it will say uh, problem with a smart and uh, it will tell you to restart your computer and then you do that and then you will have the same exact message because whenever smart comes up with an error it's one of the service service area modules uh, one of one of many so there are different drives with different types of modules different functionality of those modules smart is something that uh, basically uh, gets um, it's hard to exactly explain how it works, but uh, it gets overfilled in time whenever you use a drive with different types of reallocation errors, which actually come up in different areas of the surface while you're actually using your drive. So whenever uh, this particular module, smart module, in the service area gets overfilled with defects, of the uh, surface defects, which are reallocation errors or you can call them bad sectors or you can call them unallocated i mean um, it's a couple of different uh, phrases for that but mostly most of the time it's either reallocation errors or bad sectors that's how you basically call them most of the time uh, whenever this particular module in the service area gets overfilled with a lot of defects from those errors the smart starts to fail and uh, your drive even though it's not gonna start clicking or just not detecting it will just warn you in a screen whenever you boot up in the boot up process of the computer when you boot up start your computer up and the drive gets basically uh, the computer sends a signal to the drive to start booting and when it's not booting up and it gives you the smart error on the screen on the black screen that's where you know the drive has an issue so most of the time uh, when this happens you just need to make sure not to try to use the drive anymore just set it aside because what will happen eventually it will become worse and uh, the smart errors will basically go uh, over their specific limit for specific uh, models of drives there are specific um, numbers of those types of defects that can go in when it gets overfilled in the, in the service area that's when service area starts to fail or read write heads become 
very slow one of the heads one of the important heads which actually reads the service area which usually is head zero or head one uh, different models of drives have different var variations of that so whenever this happens um, the problem is that it, the drive will behave differently it will be slow booting up without producing smart error first or it may make a noise while booting up and you would not think it's a hard drive first think something else is going on inside of your laptop or uh, computer and there may be something else going on but uh, most of the time when you see really bad like slow down lagging whenever your computer boots up and goes into windows boot up screen it doesn't matter what kind of windows it is it doesn't matter if it's an apple computer uh, with apple it's a little bit different but the drive also will have those kinds of issues and will be will fail eventually entirely and will just de not detect anymore and then when you know there is an issue with the drive but like i said there may be other issues but it will be similar to that so a lot of people would not know that and they will just think it's not a hard drive and continue using it while the drive may actually have an issue and eventually will turn into a more severe issue and a lot of the, a lot of the times reallocation errors when there are too many of them and they get overfilled on the surface uh, those will become logical type of errors because uh, the drive the way it reads when you use it it's it's reading logical sectors so when it's reading the uh, read write heads reading the sectors it they're logical on uh, actual logical structure of the drive such as your operating system your uh, folders on the root level program files program files uh, x64 which is for 64-bit um, uh, operating system and uh, program data uh, folders or windows folder there are a lot of different folders and you may have some other folders but uh, a lot of the times it can be a backup drive where you just uh, use it as a backup with, the, with your own um, uh, names of folders so it doesn't matter what it is so when it starts failing it will just become very slow and will start having issues so it's the be best idea uh, which a lot of people don't know of course and that, like i said i'm trying to uh, explain this to you guys because i've been doing it for a while is just to set the drive aside and not use it try it if you need the data from it because a lot of people try they don't think that there is a problem with a smart or reallocation errors on the drive and they will not uh, immediately back up their data Whenever the smart error comes up on the screen, it will actually tell you to back up your data. So when you back up your data, is that uh, it's very important uh, to make sure that um, you back up the most important data first. Because if the drive starts failing eventually more, then of course you would not be able to do anything anymore. It will not let you uh, do any type of... Uh, transferring it will just become very very slow and while you actually connect your external drive to your computer or laptop to try to get the data backed up it may not give you this uh, option i mean it will give you an option but it will become really slow and you will not be able to do anything more or further it's gonna be basically stall and uh, you will not have uh, time to back anything up so that's very important that you guys uh, if you are doing a backup, try to do a backup more on a working drive than, of course, on the drive that starts failing because you will be able to save more data from it. Now, in terms of this drive, I recovered it in full. It had a problem with service area, which were smart modules also, and there was other issues with it, but it wasn't really uh, to the point which is severe yet, uh, where it's really overfilled with uh, a lot of unreadable sectors and or uh, errors on a logical uh, on a logical errors with logical structure so i was able to get uh, recover data in full from it and it had uh, uh, four partitions so i got all the partitions out and that's what customer wanted and it's about the total data was one terabyte of everything with four partitions now the, the other drives that i'm currently working at is this drive it's a Granada, it's a Seagate, uh, and it's a 2 terabyte Seagate ST2000 DM001. 
and those drives used to be um, very popular in terms of usage for different uh, computers desktop computers because it's a 3.5 inch and this is my copy drive I'm copying sectors from this drive onto this drive right now as you can see here it's copying uh, now this it has a lot of data on it it's got close to ter two terabytes of data but this drive had bad heads and it I had to replace the actual read write heads physically and moved uh, donor heads into the drive to actually as you can see right now uh, it's copying and those uh, green sectors means uh, it copies uh, good currently it's reading all the sectors and it's going on as you can see right here it's uh, reading the customers um, uh, structure and uh, on a root level in terms of extraction it's not extracting data yet but it's copying to my source drive and then after it's done I will be able to extract whatever I will be able to recover from this drive onto another transfer drive that either customer provides or they can basically um, buy the drive that uh, they want for it like an external drive and uh, just uh, use uh, I mean uh, he, the customer will actually give me the drive to transfer the data to eventually after the recovery is complete and I provide them uh, the, with a list uh, to verify the files that I have recovered so the customer first needs to look at the text list that I will provide in an email and then verify all the data that they are uh, looking at in the text listing because text list is big and it has uh, all the names of folders and files so that's done for a verification purpose so that customer sees that the data has been recovered and a lot of the instant instances um, of that is that sometimes if when uh, it's not full recovery it can be part partial recovery in those cases i provide a good list of files so the customer sees what type of files will be good and work and the bad file list which will show the customer which files are bad or corrupted because of the surface damage or unreadable areas on the surface so that's done for verification purposes so that customer sees it and uh, evaluates what has been recovered and what job was done on, uh, on in terms of data recovery so so this drive is currently as you can see copying after i replace the heads and uh, then i will start working on another drive i'll make another video for you guys with a different drive which is actually another rosewood drive which i actually already spoke to you guys about and i have this kind of drive right here that i have to get the parts for it didn't start working on it yet i diagnosed it and it's an also portable western digital drive model wd20 sdrw and those drives actually uh, have encryption also on it self-encryption and uh, most Western digital drives do right now. Most uh, recent ones, all I think, uh, the recent models that you see in the stores, uh, my passport, Western digital external portable drives, most of them have self encryption. So this is one of them. It has self encryption, which I will. It also has bad heads. It's clicking. So I have to replace the heads, and then if I gain an access to the service area of that drive, I'll have to remove that self encryption to gain access. To the root structure logical structure of the data to recover it so it's a hard process to explain exactly how it works but it's done uh, by me also using my uh, equipment and uh, that's what i usually do all the time with different models and there are, like i said varieties of different models so guys uh, that will be my vlog to, for today i really appreciate you watching my channel please subscribe to my channel it will help the channel grow and uh, hit that notification bell uh, for newer videos that will i will uh, post on my channel and hit that like button and leave any comments below I'll make sure to answer as many comments as I can or reply to as many comments as I can uh, well uh, I will be basically see exactly what it is and uh, what kind of questions you guys have in terms of data recovery if, if I can answer them uh, right away or just need to make sure that uh, basically what kind of issue you may have with the drive so uh, you can actually post the comments about it and i'll try to answer it so thanks for watching guys stay safe and god bless everyone